Hi, and welcome back to Become Your Child's Best Teacher. I'm Jennifer Ransom, your educator, trainer, and coach. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, behavior. <laughs> now, as a special education teacher, working with students going through early development, I found that behavior is communication. And I want to share with you how I've been able to break down behavior um, and how many in my profession have done it um, to be able to understand why your child is behaving a certain way, what they're trying to communicate, and how you can change, diminish, or um, replace some of these inappropriate behaviors with other ones that are appropriate for normal communication and um, for a healthy relationship between you and your child. So, when thinking about this, I want you to think about A, B, C. So, first, it's the antecedent. This is what happens or triggers the behavior. So when watching your child, you want to look for, okay, right before the behavior, what's happening? What does it look like? Um, is, did the child see something? Did the child hear something? Is um, their diaper soiled? Like what is happening right before B, the behavior? So what actions, words, routines, or events is the child engaging in? What does this behavior look like? So really dive into that and be as specific as you can. Then C, consequence. What response, reaction, or reward is the child getting from that behavior? So let's go back to A and give you some examples. So A, let's say the antecedent is a child is in the crib looking around and no one's around. Okay, that's the antecedent. Next, the behavior is crying. The child's crying. Now, the consequence or the reaction is that a parent enters the room and the child stops crying or the parent picks them up and feeds them or rocks them or something of that sort. And so then the child gets their needs met. And so then the cycle repeats. The child learns very innately that if I look around the room and see that I'm alone, I can cry and someone will come get me. So that is a way of communicating and even youngest of babies do this, right? So when we're looking at our children, we want to see it as, hey, they're trying to tell me something. So um, now with your own child, I want you to do like an ABC chart of some sort where you're first observing your child um, and writing down and documenting what was the antecedent of the behavior? What was the B, the behavior? What is C, the consequence? What's happening afterwards? Even if it changes each time, write it down. It's really important information and that will help you over the day, the week, the month to be able to find the pattern. Why is the child engaging in this? What is the function of that behavior? What reward, what reaction are they getting? A lot of children are looking, are looking for attention many times, right? Now, they don't care what kind of attention it is. So it could be positive or could be negative. So if you're snapping to react, most times your child doesn't care if they're angry at you, they're still getting your attention. So it's also thinking about, all right, how am I reacting to this child's behavior? Am I reinforcing a bad behavior? Or am I encouraging them to understand, hey, if you need to communicate with me, I'll be right there for you, right? So it's important to look at all the areas, each A, B, and C, very specifically so that you can target what the, as Charles Duhigg would say in his habit loop, um, is what's the cue, what's the start, what routine, and what reward are they getting? So in creating this loop. So... Children are going to continue to do it, right? As I said before, that once they figure out if, if something happens or cues their behavior in, in an antecedent, then the behavior happens and then you respond or the environment responds and either helps or hurts them. So then it will either continue or not continue depending on what consequence they get. So if you can keep a positive cue and reward, you can change the behavior in the middle. And this is what Charles Duhigg talks about in The Power of Habit. It's a book review that I did um, 
a couple weeks ago, and so I'll link the video um, and blog post for you so that you can check that out um, and understand a little bit more about the breakdown and how actual habits are built. But these are all the foundation, right? Being able to understand these ABCs or Q routine reward. They're the they're one and the same. Um, so I hope you found this training helpful and are able to kind of go back and look at your children, look at your family and see how your reactions and their reactions and what they're trying to communicate to you um, will help build your relationship and also help you change and work on some of those behaviors that are very frustrating to you, but it helps you understand your child more. So take the time to do it. Take some ABC data, as we say in the teaching world, and um, let me know how it goes. Email me with any questions um, and make sure you sign up for my free newsletter where you get all these trainings in your email. Uh, so check that in the description below. Like, subscribe, and share to your friends so that they get the same information and um, can help them with their own children. All right, thanks so much. And remember to love deeply, teach daily, and grow drastically. See you next time.